Hello to all my followers all over the world. To all my Filipino friends, magandang araw po. To all my Pakistani and Indian friends, kesahe, sogamtane, sanggaye. And salam alaikum to all my Arabic friends. And of course, to all my followers, good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm going to make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today I'm going to give you a quick discussion about the function keys. One of the fundamentals in AutoCAD are the function keys. These are the F keys from F1 all the way to F12 that you can see on top of your keyboard. And just to inform you, these sets of keys are very useful and will definitely make your life easy when using AutoCAD. In some new laptops, these F keys are replaced by uh, multimedia keys or also known as hotkeys. So, you need to press FN and the uh, F key at the same time in order to access the F function keys. Something that would be very uneasy and slows down your work when you're using AutoCAD. But there is a way of fixing that and I'm going to show you in the other videos and share you the link on the comment section below. So to begin with, let's open the AutoCAD software. Press F1 on your keyboard and this will take you to AutoCAD Help. Here is where you can access all your questions and issues. To use this feature, you can either browse and read all the topics that are shown here. Or, just type the keyword of the topic you're looking for on the search bar. Let's say circle. Then all of the topics that are related to what you are searching for will appear here. So F1, help. Next is F2. Press F2 on your keyboard. Then, the AutoCAD text window will appear. This will di display the previous command, which helps you to review what commands you made since you opened the file. Again, F2, AutoCAD text window. Next is F3. F3 is OSNAP toggle. By pressing F3 on your keyboard, you will turn the object snap or OSNAP on and off. And to demonstrate, I'm going to draw a circle right on the endpoint of this line. Type C for circle. F3 to turn it off. F3 to turn it on. As you can see, I can execute F3 even if my command is still active. Now that the OSNAP is on, I can draw the circle right at the endpoint of this line. So that is F3, OSNAP toggle. F4 is 3D OSNAP toggle. It is the same with F3 except that F4 is on 3D mode. As you can see on this 3D objects, F4 allows you to turn on and off the 3D OSNAP when necessary. F4, snap 3D OSNAP off, 3D OSNAP on. So you will have an easy handy tools while working on your 3D models. F5 is isoplane. This is used when you're dealing with isometric drawings. In the command line, type snap still. Snap style or still, S T Y L. Enter and change the value of 0 into 1. Type 1, enter. Notice that the orientation of your crosshair or this um, green and yellow, I mean red line, or your cursor has been changed into isometric. Also, your grid lines has been changed into isometric uh, orientation. If you don't want to see these grid lines, type just type F7. F7 is grid on and off. In the command line, type polyline or PL. Enter. Specify start point. Pick anywhere.
press F8. F8 will restrict your movement into whatever orientation your cursor is at on. So in this case, we are on isometric drawing. So F8 will make your line restricted on that orientation only. So put your cursor here or your mouse here. Type 100. Enter. Again, your mouse put upward. Type 100. Enter. Put your mouse here. 100. Enter. Put your mouse here. 100. Enter. Here's what I saw plane will do for the F5. I want to finish the other side of your my isometric, but I cannot because the orientation of my isometric is on this side. So to change that, type F5. As you can see, my line came to this side. So 100, enter. I want to go upwards, so press F5, enter. I'll put the mouse here, 100. So I want to finish the other side, of the top side of the box. PL, enter. F3 for all snap. 100, enter. And I want to go this side, F5. Now you have an isometric box. So that is what F5 isoplane does. It changes the orientation of your cursor into different uh, isometric planes. And to put back your cursor or your crosshair into original orientation, just type snap still and put it back to zero. F6 is dynamic UCS. With this turned on, you can temporarily align the UCS on the face of the 3D solid or a plane. To illustrate, let's go to Southeast Isometric. Create a pyramid. Pick point A, pick point B, point C to define the height. Now you have this face of your pyramid and this face of your pyramid. Then, Dynamic UTS will allow you to make another shape exactly on the face of this uh, side of the pyramid. Let's create a cylinder. Turn on the F6. And as you can see, as you hover your uh, crosshair on this face, the face becomes highlighted. Then pick this is your uh, cylinder. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this video useful, Please do me a favor of clicking the like and subscribe button because it helps me a lot. And also, hit the bell icon so you will be notified every time I upload the new videos. Again, thank you very much. Stay healthy, stay at home, and may God bless us all.